What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Match Red Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, we're going to talk about the game Time Classics that goes Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, which was released on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PSP, and PC by Ubisoft. This game is a sequel to the game Time Classics Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, and it takes place immediately after the first game and stuff. Now, the plot of the game is that a rebellion in Mexico City is still going on, even though uh, General Carlos O.T. O.T. Uh, Veros was defeated and stuff. And um, not only that, the rebellion has spread to other um, Latin American countries and stuff. And now um, Captain Scott Mitchell and his Ghost Recon team are on a mission to stop the rebel forces and they have to go to different spots to, to get it done and stuff. Now, um, pretty much the main campaign consists of like 13 missions and stuff where you travel to, to, to the different uh, Latin American countries where this rebellion has spread to and stuff like that. Now, the, the um, mission names are like at different titles to it, of course. Like virtual boot camp, the Pablo, there's a rat scene in the rain, urban warfighter, night of the mucho dead, bull fight, the lonely ghost, shoot gallery, cover up, mouse trap, damn mercenaries, welcome back to, and welcome back to Mexico. Now, uh, I think with the um, PC version, the name of the missions are like totally different from what you would see in say the 360 and PS3 versions and stuff and um you can pretty much command your squad like you did in the first game but you can also um, use stuff like a UAV and uh, like military vehicles like um the Abrams tank um the Apache helicopter or the, the Bradley tank and stuff like that and it pretty much has, this, of course, the same class of uh, weapons that you saw in the first game. You know what I'm saying? Like the SMGs, pistols, assault rifles, light machine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, and stuff like that. But um, it's like some of the assault rifles, and I think some of the um, SMGs, too, have grenade launcher attachments to them and, and all that and everything. Plus um, the cross the cross cam, I think what it's called, point two allows you to um, 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 outmaneuver your um, outmaneuver the enemies in a different way like, from how you did it in the first game and stuff like that. Now the multiplayer is pretty similar to the um, first uh, game in terms of the multiplayer mode because it has a co-op team and solo and, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, one of the major differences in the multiplayer is that in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, instead of you actually dying, you get critically injured, which allows your teammates to come to you and, um, and heal you. But you can still get can you still get shot and killed while um, one of your teammates is attempting to heal you and stuff like that. So hopefully you're not really close to the opposing team when one of your teammates is trying to heal you or you try to heal one of them and stuff like that. Now in the multiplayer, there are like oh, four classes, um, pretty much the Rifleman, Grenader, Automatic, Rifleman, and Marksman. And most likely these same four classes are in the um, main campaign also. So the strategy for both is to have your teammates be at least one of those um, four classes, you know what I'm saying? Because it balances out the weaknesses each class has, you know what I'm saying? So if you spot an enemy um, from far away, of course you need the marksman to pop. To pretty much take them out if you want some, if you need to um, take out a, like a vehicle and stuff like that. Of course, you need the grenader and all of that, you know. Now, um, pretty much with the um, game modes themselves, like I said, it has solo mode, 
co-op and um, team and stuff like that. Now with the solo and co-op mode, they have pretty much three different modes to them. Pretty much objective um, and stuff like that. Uh, not only objective, but uh, uh, elimination and territory. With the um, with the um, team, it also has two other uh, modes outside the three I just mentioned, which are um, it's pretty much one more actually. It's missions along with uh, objective elimination and um, territory. But each mode has a specific number of games that you can um, play in. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, with the co-op elimination, you can pick a um, firefight or helicopter hunt you know what I'm saying so if, if you want to um, do one of those two just um, pick a little partner pick a partner and, and have at it you know what I'm saying under one of those two and pretty much um, the type of uh, multiplayer map you pick will depend on which uh, a version of a Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 you have, you know what I'm saying. Now, um, currently the, um, the, the online multiplayer is pretty much no longer available on the PS3 and, um, and Xbox 360 versions because, let's face it, um, PS3 and then Xbox Live is on the, um, current gen PlayStation and Xbox, uh, consoles, you know what I'm saying. Now, the graphics and design for um, Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 are pretty good, you know what I'm saying, with some nice color palettes and stuff. And the controls and uh, gameplay are pretty good, too, especially with the improvements to the um, Crosscom 2.0. And the soundtrack is pretty good, and uh, it does its job very well fitting in with the... Um, uh, with the main campaign and stuff, and um, pretty much uh, to me, Ubisoft took the things that were good in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter and executed them um, pretty well and put them in better in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I would definitely recommend it this game to anybody who is a fan of shooting games and especially if they like um Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter the pretty much far as the first game is is concerned, you know what I'm saying? And as far as the score, I definitely give Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter two a nine out of ten, you know what I'm saying, and all of that. And with that being said, you can sound off in the comment section about if you uh about the game, you know what I'm saying, if you like the multiplayer, uh, certain aspects of the um main campaign that you like, or whatever the case may be. With that being said, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to get to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, signing off.